Audio Jungle. What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to do a little tutorial using Photoshop Elements. I have an older version, but I'm sure everything you can do that I'm going to do, you can do in the newer version and probably more. But nevertheless, going to be using Photoshop Elements to try to Photoshop Trevor Bauer and put him in a different uniform. And in this case, we'll go with the Giants. I've done this many times on many videos before. You can see some examples here that I'll show you on the screen. These are older videos. And, you know, it's not too hard to do it with the regular old face shot that, that players do before the season, those little pose shots. Those are really easy to do. You just put a new hat, new uniform, you know, tidy it up, good to go. But it's really hard to do it with a guy in action and make it look good. Um, and I just saw one of the worst ones I've ever seen. I know it's kind of a joke, but check out this one. <laughs> That is terrible, um, but that's, obviously that's not even meant to to look. I, I assume it's not even meant to look real, but uh, that's terrible. So what we're gonna do is first pick uh, a photograph that obviously looks, you know, like uh, thinking about the uniform we want to put him in. I want to I'm gonna put him in a Giants uniform because I'm a Giants fan, and so I'm gonna look for one. I'm not gonna probably pick one where he's got the red jersey because that's gonna be too hard. Unless I wanted to change it to orange, you know, and do the uh, the orange uh, Giants jersey, but. You know, let's do a road Giants jersey. I, I think that we could do that. Like one of this. This one looks pretty good. This one looks pretty good. I like how, yeah, the shirt kind of opens up. We could uh, change that maybe to black. Um, the hat is not too visible, though. Maybe I want one with a little more of the hat, like this one. You can see that hat. I want that SF there. This one looks pretty good right here. So what I'm going to do is download this photograph uh, after, it gets, after it finishes loading in about 30 years. And then once we download this photograph... Then I'm going to uh, grab it and start tinkering with it. And also, sometimes it helps to find a similar photo of a pitcher on the team that you're changing it to, in this case, the Giants, which uh, will be able to use some of those parts to kind of paste on here. I don't want to change his whole body. I'm not just going to take his face and put it on a different guy's body. I want it to mainly keep his body. But uh, anyway, let's just do it. So the, the link is ready. We're going to download it. So I open the image here in Photoshop. And where are we going to start? Well, like I said, I want to obviously take a look at a Giants pitcher. So we need a right-handed Giants pitcher on the road. There'll be plenty of pictures to choose from just to kind of get an idea how a Giants uniform should look. And then we can start grabbing those pieces and replacing them and making everything look nice. Okay, so here we go. This one looks really good right here. I'm going to bounce back here and bounce here. Now, that looks really good. That looks really good. Yeah. How big is it? It's not as big, but it's fine. We can make the, the Trevor Bauer one smaller if necessary. I'm going to scroll down a little more, see if there's any more. By the way, this is Tyler Beatty. Here's a couple. I don't know which one's bigger. This one's even bigger. Yep. Yeah. Oh, that one's really nice. Yeah, perfect. So I'm going to download this picture now. So back in Photoshop, I'm going to open it. And here we have both those pictures. Now, this one's not as quality of an image, but it's okay because we're not like going to be using most of it. We're just you know, using it for the uniform here. But I'm going to make this one a little smaller. That's too big anyway. There's no reason for it to be that big. So let's make this one right there. I'm going to just fit it on the screen. It's fine. Okay, so here we have it. This is the uh, Bauer, and here is Tyler Beatty. Now, the first thing we want to think about is where it says Cincinnati, I want it to say San Francisco. So I want this to take this place. But if I just grab this and throw it on top, there's going to be, you're going to be able to see that Cincinnati underneath. So what I'm going to do is zoom in. I'm actually going to go to enhance, adjust color, replace color, and I'm going to click around the gray, not in the red or the white or the black, in the gray here. And I'm going to basically erase this logo here. You have to be careful about it, though. Because if you just... If I took this and just changed the whole thing, this gray, it would it would be noticeable. It wouldn't look so good. Because the shadows change. So I clicked on a gray by the eye. Also, make sure in brush settings, the hardness is all the way down. 0%. And see how I can just kind of tap around here. And it makes this eye disappear. 
Now, once we're done with this, you're going to probably notice it. But once you put the San Francisco across, it'll be much less noticeable. And every once in a while, I'm going to replace color as I go to the next letter. And see, it's a slightly lighter shade of gray. Because remember, it's going to say SF. Mainly what we're covering here is just the portion that would show through. Replace color. Let me even grab some from the top here. Just tap around. What's that movie, Adam, uh, Adam Sandler? Tap it in. Just tap it in. You can even try to follow this. See, this is a little darker because I'm going to follow this shadow a little bit. Place color over here. This is very light up here. Okay. Like I said, you can see it, but once we put the San Francisco, we'll get a little bit of a different story. It won't be as obvious. Make it a little smaller here because now we're coming towards the, uh, the edge of the uniform. I think I might have messed up. Got some gray here in the red area. So I don't want to really do that. What you can do is turn up the hardness when I'm at edge so that it doesn't so that it doesn't uh, bleed through or you can make it smaller smaller right here the size of it turn up that hard turn down the hardness it was a little too much there we go there we go and I'm gonna turn it up turn back down hardest back down again And this is fine. Now you can kind of still see it, but again, we're going to put the San Francisco logo, and then I'll, and then we'll we'll um, kind of you know fix everything up a little bit. Those last two I didn't like. Going to once again replace color around that shadow. There we go. Nice and nice and good. Perfect. Okay, now. Cincinnati over here same thing replace color Now I don't want to go into the baseball field So you can harden it, but you can also do like this uh, This little key here is called the quick selection tool make sure it's on add and I'm just gonna grab him right down here That way when I'm doing this, it's not gonna bleed out into the baseball field so replace color And just same feel. See, it's not bleeding out into the baseball field. I just wanted to get the edge taken care of. There's a little bit of red there, but deal with that later. Just trying to get the main Cincinnati logo covered. There we go, and it's covered. 27 still there. Worry about that later. Fit on screen, and you can see erased that logo. You can you can kind of see where I did, but once we put the San Francisco, not going to be so noticeable. So now over here, I'm going to zoom in. Also notice this little black part of the uniform. So I know there's other ways you could throw a head on a body, but I'm trying to keep Trevor Bauer's body so that it looks more natural. Um, a couple ways is I can try to grab every, every single letter, in which case you got to make it real small, but you can also just try to grab all the gray. I can just go like this if I want to and hope that the gray is not too different than the, the Trevor Bauer gray. So that's the first thing I'm going to try just because it's faster and easier. Just grab this whole San Francisco instead of going like letter by letter. And we'll see if it'll work this way. Okay, so I got the San Francisco here. A little bit of orange there. There we go. Control C or you can go to edit, copy, and then Control V. There it is. Now you can see this gray is a little bit of a different shade. It's lighter could possibly fix that we're gonna come down here click on this you can even turn it slightly make it you can make off the edge a little bit because I can erase that make it a little bigger maybe there we go and I'm gonna go back I'm gonna click this okay so really it should be a little more like this but we pull it out there we go and push this in like that yeah it doesn't have to be perfect it doesn't have to be perfect Okay, now like I was saying, you can see it's much lighter gray. If I roll in though, there's a couple of options here. I'm going to erase the side of this. Undo erase. Make sure it's the layer of the black is clicked. Just kind of edge that out here. Whoops. I didn't like how I did that. There we go. There we go, just like that. This gray actually looks like it matches pretty well. But anyway, I'm going to... 
darken it a little, see if that helps. Mm, not too much, okay. That looks pretty good though. Now I'm gonna take the eraser. What I'm gonna do is take a real tiny eraser and just go around the letters here. This one looks pretty good as is. Make it real tiny. And I'm erasing the gray so that we see Bowers gray. This one looks okay, I like that one already. Over here, just kind of erasing in between the letters. Make sure that that right layer is selected and you press erase. And this is erasing. Yeah, I like this better than just selecting letter at a time. This is, this is, this is good. And see the, the Francisco shows up. Let's go down nice and easy. Hmm. I'm going to try to move this slightly because we want to make it look like the, we'll put the A on one side and the N on the other side like that. Yeah, that's fine. Downside is I gotta erase more of the side here. Mm, there we go. All right, back to what I was doing. I'm gonna even erase. Try to get a little effect here. Erase the top here, so it looks like this this part of the uh, uniform goes over that A slightly. See how I'm saying right here? It goes right over the top of the A just a little bit. Pretty cool. A little make it more realistic here. Back over here. I'm gonna erase this part. I have a nice hand, stays very still. Other side of the end. Over here, we can do the same thing. I'm gonna make this slightly bigger. Now smaller. All that. And you could try to use the um, the quick selection tool on it, but I think that sometimes just by hand is easier. Nice and good right there. And just getting here between the F, this little area. That's good. So let's go ahead and fit on screen. What do we have there? What's this little N at the bottom coming out? Is that something on the screen or is that? Yeah, what's this little N here? Can we erase that? Yeah, make sure it looks good here. Now that looks very nice. Fit on screen and we have the Francisco. That looks sick, right? Um, now, what do we do next? Well, let's just take a look at Tyler Beatty again. There's no number. No number here. We do have to get that little black stripe on there at some point, but there's no number. So we need to Photoshop out this number, unfortunately, pretty much in the same way it did earlier. So we're going to replace color. Click around here, the top left portion. Make sure the soft is all the way down. I mean, the hardness is all the way down. And I'm going to click right there. Place color here. Maybe make it a little smaller. I don't want to get too many of the creases and all this little stuff because it makes it look more natural. Okay. Place color. Get to this dark part here. Just trying to make it look natural as I can. I'm getting rid of this. You could even copy and paste a little bit, like take a big chunk here of the uniform, as much as I can get here. Like that, control C and drop it in. The problem is, as you can see, You'll be able to notice the square, but you can always just kind of replace color. And on that edge, we just, oops, on that edge, we can just kind of mix it in there. See that? Just kind of mixes in. Replace color. And just kind of fit it in there. A little darker shade here. I accidentally put, puts the best up a little bit, but at the end of the day, this is, this is working out. This is working out. Now the number is gone. I'm gonna just make sure that. Once in a while, you can right click here and flatten image if you're happy with everything, only if you're happy with everything. That way, I don't have to worry about what layer I'm on. Um, now I'm just going to take this shadow here and just kind of bring it down, mix it. Just trying to make it realistic here. 
place color here the gray a little bit I had of I had to get rid of that number but anyway fit on screen and you can see the number is gone and you know that we've worked on it so you might be able to see something but just kind of looks like shadows it doesn't you know for someone who's just gonna look at this they're not gonna notice that at all so that is perfect right here that looks fine this looks like a little flat part of the of the uh, of the of the jersey so now we have San Francisco we've gotten rid of the number what's next now can't see Tyler Beatty's belt but a black belt should do fine right so we're gonna change the belt to black I'm gonna zoom in I'm gonna scroll down to the belt now I'm gonna grab the the tool the quick selection tool and I'm just gonna grab the belt see it grabs the belt there grabs the belt there grabs the belt there I got too much go to remove only want the belt Get the belt in here grab too much remove and I imagine newer versions will probably be much better with this but this version I've been using for a long time okay add over here get this little red portion this little red portion here I think I want to get that got it subtract boom okay now we got the belt I'm going to enhance and different ways to do it I'm just gonna remove color make it black and white because I'm gonna make it black anyway so now it's gray and I can just different ways to darken I go to color variations and darken it doesn't have to be like pitch black just make it dark enough that you can tell it's supposed to be black a little bit of red got over it if you really want to you know, try to eliminate that you can replace color click on the black you can see it's very small turn up the hardness just kind of slip through here and you can get rid of some of that uh, some of that red there I don't think anyone's gonna notice it but let's get rid of some of that red and bring that belt just cover that belt up a little bit I don't want to make it too solid it won't look natural but see some red there that I don't that I don't want uh, depends how detailed you want to get you know there we go a little red right there what's that red doing there get out of here okay so now he has a black belt and again Trevor Bauer's body the Nike needs to be probably black I don't uh, yeah it's black right the Nike is black on the Giants uniform so we're gonna zoom in and you already know what we're gonna do we're just gonna grab the Nike logo I'll zoom in closer because I got too much it's not very easy here subtract just want the Nike logo that's fine I'm gonna do the same thing I'm gonna remove color first and darken it again I see a little red let's get in there close again and this time I'm gonna replace color and click the gray the light gray around it just make it a little straighter a little cleaner there we go make it a little bit cleaner there okay so we got the Nike turned black now San Francisco Nike black black belt um, now big big problem the little black stripe the black stripe now we picked up this image because he's in a similar similar uh, stance that way we can just grab this black stripe just gonna again grab the tool the quick selection tool how much I can grab this black stripe best I can here Add, subtract, grab that black stripe. That's the top part. I'm not gonna do do the top part, then we'll do the bottom part. So they need to be adjusted. I'm not just gonna fit on perfect. But take a look at it, make sure you see where it's going. It just follows along the buttons. Follows along the jersey there. There it is. Alter the size a little bit here. You can change the, the you can make it turn a little bit in there that looks pretty good looks pretty good right there 
Gonna now zoom into it. Make sure it's cut off when it hits the C. It looks like it cut. Oops. It looks like it's already cut off pretty perfect there. Then it comes on here, but it's almost turning white. Just the way that that ended up. And it kind of erased the outer edge of it. Okay. Now what I'm gonna do something crazy. I'm gonna take a box around around it here. Control C and drop that in, copy paste that. So that way. Oops. Just grab that one. Should be able to just move that one. So let's just stretch this out. And then I'm going to use the erase tool to make it just kind of keep on doing that on accident. Yep. Make it kind of. Yep. See how it just slides in perfectly. Little, little things that don't look perfect about it are fine because it's natural. Fit on screen. There, and he's got a little black stripe there. Uh, we need that black stripe to come down the rest of the uniform. He actually hits the N, not the C. Do you think anyone's going to notice that? He might, but I'm going to take the chance. So, so now we're going to grab the bottom portion of it. There we go. Okay, now here's the bottom. I'm gonna pull it down here like this, slightly rotate it, make sure it goes right along those buttons. Right like that. Okay, pretty good. I'm going to erase around it because I think I got a little excess stuff I didn't want. So when I when I copy that, it goes right down to the bottom there. But there's a little white around it. It's not white. It's the, it's the gray because BD's uniform is a little more grayish. So I'm just go in here and perfect it. Make it a little bit thinner. Yeah. Just scroll right down with the line. This is all good. Okay. Pull it and make it a little longer. There, get right to the edge there. Go to the top here. Pull it. Go to the top. There we go. It's good to go there. Okay, that's not perfect, but no one's going to notice. Once we get this all changed out, it's fine. So, now there's also a stripe that goes down this side. You can't really see it here. Oh, well, you can't see it at all because it's not there, but on this uniform, See if we can see it. Yeah, the stripe is just covered. It's underneath there. So just to make it more realistic, I'm going to even add that stripe. So I'm going to actually undo that. Let's just, we can just control, or no, Alt. Click on layer three here. This is the layer for this one. Alt, I'm gonna move it down, and that's the layer copy. And when I try to move it by clicking this icon, I can move it. Sorry. Yeah, see, so you move it and it's two separate ones. We're going to put it right like right under the A here. There you go. But I'm going to erase some of it because it goes underneath the other jersey. So you can see how it's going here. And then, ah, sorry. And then it starts to erase right here as this jersey goes on top. And maybe down at the bottom, does it make a reappearance? Yeah, it makes a little reappearance. Sorry, right around here. Yeah, see this goes over top. This goes over top of it. Yeah, it makes a little reappearance. So it looks like the black stripe. Um, I am gonna make it bigger and, and move it like that because I want it to look natural. So it's not gonna have the same exact curvature as the other one. And up here, let's say it just goes behind here, you can't really see it. So that's fine. Do a little something special here. I'm going crazy, I know. I'm on that copy of this one. I'm going to go to fill to uh, doing crazy stuff. And you don't have to do all this stuff. We're going to go to uh, distort, liquefy. And look how I can just kind of 
move it slightly to make it a little different curvature so it's not looking exactly like the other one. Change the brush size here. I'll make a little wiggle. See that little wiggle there? See that? Gives a little wiggle here. Um, now you can even try to make it match the uniform. You can see at the bottom there's a little crease here. Right at the bottom. So I'm going to go back to that option. Distort. Liquify. So I know right at the bottom I'm going to make this very small brush size. And right at the bottom here. See that? And that matches up with the uniform there. Make it more natural looking. See now we've got them in the uniform. San Francisco. We got the uh, the lines going, following the buttons. Everything looks good. You got the black belt, black Nike. Now he's got to have the black undershirt. Control plus, zoom in. Obviously, this is pretty self-explanatory. We do the same thing we've been doing. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna make sure I, I click the right guy. I always keep doing that. Make sure I've clicked the right layer, otherwise it won't do it properly. I'm grabbing just the red here. There's the red. Subtract any non-red. We don't want to mess up the uniform. Subtract some non-red here. Some non-red here. Perfection. Okay. Now, adjust color, remove color, and darken. Yeah, darken one time so we can see some of the some of the um, little highlights and shadows there. And once again, you can see a little red, but man, I don't even think it's, I don't know if it's a problem, but just in case. Because I want to replace the black. I'm going to click the black here. And I want to make sure that the hardness is about 90%, 91. I'm going to, oops, maybe that's too, uh, turn it down about 83. Okay, well, actually, let's start up here. There we go, a little bit there. That's fine. Replace color, this is even a little blacker there. Go right down like that. And then I'm going to bring the size up, turn the hardness down to 7%, and just kind of fill it in here. There we go. So that the, the shadow, those red shadows aren't so obvious or pretty much gone. Fit on screen. Oh, I see a little issue here. A little issue. Look at that, see a little black mark here, I don't like that. Re replace color, click his skin, and then the very tiniest brush I can get with no hardness, or with a lot of hardness, sorry. 90% hardness, bloop, bloop, gone. Cleaned up. Okay, so we got him in a Giants Road uniform, black belt, black Nike, but there's a freaking Reds logo on the shoulder. If we go over to this guy, it's supposed to be a Giants logo. So this is going to be a good one. So what do we do? We zoom in. Also notice the uh, the red and white uh, border there on the sleeve. We're going to have to take care of that. Did I actually make a black marker? Oh, it's part of this. It's part of layer one. So one secret to see that you see something not supposed to be there. I click the little eyes here. Removing the layers, and when I saw that remove, I know it's in layer one. So I'm going to click layer one, erase, get rid of that little mark. All right. Click on Trevor. Adjust color. Uh, adjust, uh, sorry. Not adjust color. Uh, yeah, adjust color, replace color. I'm tripping. Here we go. Okay, that's terrible because it's way too hard. Hardness needs to be down all the way. Brush size down a little bit. And there we just do what we've been doing and just slowly tap away at it. Replace color, get a different color. See, there's a light color here, so like a, like a light. A couple of taps there. Place color. Let's get this gray over here. We get too close to the edge once again it does tend to bleed into the field you can fix that by um, increasing the hardness but you don't increase it too much because you want it soft or the old trick I showed you of the quick selection tool and you grab his uh, 
grab the sleeve and that way this will not go out and that way we can turn up turn down that hardness without worrying about it bleed into the field okay I'm gonna get a big one here and just pop that out okay all right that's fine um, now the logo so again I'm gonna zoom in close grab Tyler Beatty's logo here if you don't like any part of it, you can find a different picture. You can always use two or three pictures, uh, photographs of of, uh, of the jersey you're going for. But I think this should work okay. We got the little Giants logo. Control C, Control V. There she blows. I'm gonna turn it and make it fit right across the edge here, just like that. Beautiful. Take the erase tool and just kind of clean up the side. What do we have there? freaking Giants patch that is sick fit on fit on screen and we've got the patch yeah we've got the Giants patch we got the Giants uh, logo everything's good um, there is this red and white it's supposed to be orange and black orange on the outside black on the inside so we can zoom in knowing that and we may be able to just change it so we don't have to do anything crazy um, so we'll take this again. Make sure I click Trevor Bauer background. I forgot again, and I was I was trying to grab it. If you have something else selected, it's just going to be terrible. You have to have the right layer selected, and now I should be able to grab this. And yeah, it's going much more smooth. I had to cut out a little part. I really struggled with grabbing this because I was on the wrong layer. Much better. Still got to do a little subtracting and adding and, and get it get it right, but should work much quicker if you have the right layer selected because then it's paying attention to what's in that layer if you have the wrong layer selected it has no idea what you want to do okay i just grabbed the whole thing including the white because i'm going to keep it white just momentarily and see if i can change that red to an or of an orange and i'll show you one different ways you can do it there's a few strategies to try let's go enhance adjust color Adjust hue saturation. You can move the hue and it will change the color. See how it's changing? We have blue there, greenish, teal. I saw an orangish. See? See that? Uh, you can stop right around there. You can turn up the saturation and see how it's going orange? Adjust everything. Turn the, the darkness a little bit. Yes. And now it's orange. You can mess with it more, make it more better. Uh, more better. <laughs> so now we're going to grab uh, this and just, I'm just going to go black. Very dark, super dark gray, almost black. Uh, I think if you go too black, like black, black, it, it, it might stand out and not look natural. And I'm going to grab the brush tool about the right size. I'm going to turn the opacity down again so it maybe keeps, I don't really think there's much texture in this, but just in case you want it to keep it look natural. I'm just going to follow along right here. All right, to this point, we gotta have to have a good hand to do it, but see, I messed up a little bit. I'm gonna stop now. You mess up, you undo. I don't know if that's a bad enough mistake that I have to undo, but you go back over it, darkens it again. It makes it look more natural anyway by having to kind of go back through it. Okay, I'm gonna change the size, make it a little smaller. Come back through here. Back on top here. All good. You can see that orange. Turn down the size a little more. Finish it up over here. Oh! Finish it up here like that. Undo is your friend. Okay. That's fine. Straighten it a little more. Black right there. Nah, I, I, I'm trying just to... There we go. There we go. Eh. All right. Doesn't have to be perfect. In fact, because uniforms are not perfect. They're all wrinkly and he's moving around. So it doesn't have to be perfect. If it's too perfect, it won't look good. It needs to be a little bit, you know, just different colors. You know, the little white, little grayish. You know, if you just went solid black, it wouldn't look good. Uh, fit on screen. Okay, not too bad. So now we have him... Pretty much done except the hat. So let's fix the hat. We could take 
his entire hat if it's in the right shape if you try to make this black because it's so bright red I don't think it'll look too good I think I would rather replace this whole hat so I'm gonna go um, back to, to to Google and see what I can see since Tyler Beatty turned out pretty good I'm gonna see if there's another picture of him and again we want to see he's a little more angled he's, he's facing the camera a little more here he's just a little more at an angle so we're gonna see what we can find here's one right here here's one right here is a little more angled I think <laughs> I think I'm gonna grab it so let's grab that Tyler Beatty you can see this one he's facing the camera ever so slightly more than this one this one he's looking anyway bottom line is I think this hat will go better so I'm gonna zoom in I mean, the other hat could have tried, but I think this hat will fit better. I'm going to grab the whole hat and replace the whole hat because I have some res reservations about that Red's hat successfully trying to just paint it um, because it's got the red brim. It's got a little uh, at, the, at the tip, at the edge. I mean, I just want, I think it'll look better just going and grabbing a new hat. You can grab a little bit of Tyler Beatty because we can always erase that. Or you can grab his eyes and make a Tyler Beatty um, Trevor Bauer hybrid. That would be pretty cool. Control C, Control V. There's the hat. Um, gonna lift it up. We can bring it to the top here. Lift it up there. Boom. Let's zoom in. Obviously, it's not quite ready. We gotta make it smaller. Bend it over, bigger, down. Look at that. Plant it right on his head. Look at that. It goes right on his head. Now we're gonna take the erase tool. And grab the, uh, the the hat and erase some of this underneath. That is good. There's some red I see, but we'll get rid of that red. Um, I'm going to darken the hat. I'm going to go to color and darken. So it goes into those shadows a little better. And this is really good. I'm going to stretch it out here to cover some of that red. But then I got red down here, so I'm going to cancel that. Uh, instead, oops, grab the hat, remove some of this from his ear, so his ear is coming out. There we go. This is fine. Now, what we need to do is a little, to get rid of this red's hat in the background is I'm going to go back to Trevor Bauer, and we've done this before. Replace color. This is a, this, this little white shade here. And I've grabbed this color here, adjust color, replace color. And again, with a very soft touch, see how it just kind of blends in there. Now over here is a little more grayish black, replace color. I want to get rid of this red's hat. Could try to adjust the giant's hat if you want to and get rid of it that way. But see, this is doing pretty well. Yeah, just like that. No one really, you can't really notice. Replace color. Get rid of this red right here. Gone. Over here, again, a little white something going on there. I don't know what that is. Place color. And you can't see the red anymore. Fit on screen. And, ah, I see a little red right here. That's it. The hat almost needs to be stretched. Not sure. Maybe just stretch it just a little bit there, and then we can fill in that black. Make sure it looks like it halfway fits him. So I'm going to put a little black in here. I'm going to harden that up. Make it real tiny. There we go. Boom. And last, this little red over here. Is it a big deal? No, but why not fix it up? Just, just make it a shadow. Make it a shadow there. Yeah, just fade it out. Just put a little different, little, little taps. Yeah, that's about good right there. It's just a little black there. Fit on screen. And what do we have here? We indeed have Trevor Bauer in a San Francisco Giants uniform. Look at how that, that's freaking flawless. And it's his actual body. It's his Trevor Bauer's arm. It's Trevor Bauer's glove. This is Trevor Bauer's arm. This is all Trevor Bauer. I changed the hat out because that red hat was not going to look good. 
That's why I didn't want the red uniform. Got the gray uniform. We, we replaced it with Francisco. Um, obviously, it's going to say San over here. Can't see it, but we're going to assume. Um, yeah, if you want to nitpicky, be like, no, nah, the stripe goes over the end. Uh, yeah, yeah, I mean, who cares? It's a freaking Photoshop job, and it looks uh, very, very natural, very good. So uh, that's um, how I do it. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Let me know in the comments below any suggestions. Obviously, uh, there's faster ways, but this is just me. And um, we'll talk to you next time. When the giants come to town, it's fine.